plays to score a touchdown. And again, Jay Wall beat my boy Skimbo in Madden 19 Patriots Club final. Each player using Michael Vick in that one. Running a lot of inside zone, running it very well was Jay Wall. And his defense stood up every time, it seemed. And his Lions guy, Darius Slay, with a key pick in the final minute, right, to set up the game-winning field goal as time expired. I'm just pouring lemon juice in an open paper cut here. I know. I, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, what are you even doing? Can we just call this game? Like, I really don't want to talk about that. But as you're seeing here, they're getting their depth chart going on. They're getting declined, these penalties. You know, they're boys. Me, on the other hand, when I play, I straight up tell you, I'm accepting if you're taking too much time. I ain't got time for you to just completely just glitch out my defense. I am accepting this. You're going to have to have a first and 15, but these guys have more class than I do. So here comes some, you know, declines for the game. All right, so Jay Wall again repping the Lions. He is on defense to open. Aaron Rodgers wearing 12 for the 12s here. We're at Pizza Hut Stadium just underway with Jay Wall and Decroft having at it. And here is Aaron Rodgers with plenty of time. Tucks and runs sliding right near the first down sticks. Yeah, so a couple things I want to point out. A lot of people, and I do too, I love these abilities on wide receivers, so I get that almost 100% chance I'm going to catch the ball. Decroft, I believe, has no abilities on wide receivers to help catching. He has a slot apprentice, which helps get more like routes on the field. But as far as hanging on a ball in traffic, he's just got to pray that his wide receivers hang on to the ball. He's got escape and identifier on Rodgers, which I guess is big, right, if he's not going to load up on those other receivers. Those other yeah, receivers are pretty good. The coolest abilities. <laughs> Here's the handoff, and for the first time the run, it's Chris Johnson who will score him forward. 96 speed, a popular pick lately. Yeah, very popular pick. Um, you know, I don't know a lot about Decroft, but on second and one, he audible down to a run formation. That's the thing about this 2-3-6. It's not the best run defense if you don't shoot the gap with your user. Two backs available for him. He's got Mostert out there as well. It's just in a 26 cap. And Rodgers, again, good protection here. He'll fling it in a coverage, and it's knocked away. Oh, boy, Ross almost had it. And if, if you're able to secure that, you've got the first down. He went to that slot apprentice, but he didn't have the sticky fingers that he needed. Well, he went to the slot apprentice, but he doesn't have post-flag elite. He doesn't have a post elite or whatever it's called. He doesn't have that ability. So when it's in traffic like that, he's probably going to drop it. If he would just put an ability on that, he would have caught that ball. Skimbo is so big on abilities. I want to get you teed up on that in a moment. In the traffic, and Hollywood Brown sits down with the first down. Why are you so big on everybody hitting up with abilities now? Well, you know, a lot of people don't like abilities in this game, but the one thing I do like, it gives a better... People hate the dice roll. You put all these abilities on your wide receivers, it helps the catching. As long as... And here's a tip. You might put these abilities, but if you go for a wide catch and your feet are in the air, those abilities, for the most part, wiped out just about. But if you catch a ball in traffic and you have both feet on the ground, they're going to hang on to that ball. Decroft on the move here. There is CJ again, and he's lassoed. Not much of a game right there. It's two carries for nine yards, but rolling with Chris Johnson. And just talking about what a popular card that was in that 32-team club championship field. I counted 15 of the 32 players, Skimbo, had CJ2K as their running back. Mm -hmm. And the guy who won $100,000 did too. The Met is changing. We're hearing about that. Volterax, the guy that Skimbo is speaking of, just ran, ran, ran his way to that belt and that 100 large. But now passing seems to be back. And Rodgers is back. Flings it. Underneath, Ross with the catch. Not enough for the first down. Yeah, so I'm looking at uh, Jay Wall on defense. If you're a man player and just at home, just kind of study it. Right now he's doing a lot of coverage on defense. My first time when I'm on defense, I let you take the underneath, and I'm going to adjust later as the game goes on. I'm curious to see if he starts blitzing here because Decroft is very comfortable on this first drive. And again, if you're just joining us, worlds are colliding here. These are very good friends. Guys at Lab is part of the TMC crew. And that's his whole quadrant, all four players today. They all know each other so well. It's what makes today so fun. Not that tomorrow won't be fun, too. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow on third and five. Again, clean pocket. Aaron Rodgers underneath and right past the first down sticks. Move those chains. It's Hollywood Brown. Great pocket. Way to slide a little bit to the left. You know, never panic. He didn't use an escape artist he has on A-Rod. Found it late and got a first down. That's a very, very big play and great find at the end. 
You know, in that Seahawks Club Championship game, Skimbo, against the great young Kiv, only one incompletion all game from D. Croft. And here's Johnson. Yeah, that's... Barge forward for a couple. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. You know, that just speaks how great of an offensive player D. Croft is because, honestly, Kiv is a very good defensive player. Um, but right now, if you're looking on defense, Jay Wall is just comfortable with only sending four at him. But I, I just feel like as the game goes on, he's going to have to send five or six eventually if he just keeps moving the ball like this. Time-consuming, clock-munching opening drive. Aaron Rodgers again just kind of flips it out. Here's Reek. Tyree Kill will tumble down. So it's a four or five start for Aaron Rodgers. But I think tellingly, only 33 yards. He hasn't really put it on the zip line downfield yet. Yeah, he's just taking what's underneath, and here's a third and seven, and he's not going to. But if, you're, if you've been watching wide receivers, take a look on the the, the O-line, okay? Because I'm probably going to say something, and there's going to be an instant shed. His center and his guards are absolutely manhandling the people on the line of scrimmage right now, and this is why he's having so much time. You see Eddie Goldman stemming around up front there, trying to get the pass rush in. The pass away to the 10. It's caught Aaron Rodgers with a dot over the middle, and D. Croft is moving. He had to come up with a hot read right there. So J. Wall finally said, you know what, I'm blitzing you on third down. I'm going to get you to kick a field goal. Perfect job by D. Croft. Steps up one step and hits a seam pass on the right side. But for a lifelong Seahawks fan to be using Aaron Rodgers, it's a little bit weird, <laughs> but he's got Rodgers with, again, both escape and identifier locked on him, the abilities that he's chosen. <laughs> Yeah, You've been spot uh, on about you know that. what? <laughs> yeah, A-Rod, he has a really fast release, and so he put his pride aside, and he said, you know what, I need a quarterback that has a really fast release. So if you're at home and you don't want to use Gunslinger, A-Rod probably has the fastest release in the game if you're a pocket passer. Good intel from one of the great minds of Madden, Michael Skimbo joining us. And we proceed to the second quarter scoreless. Been a lot of low-scoring football so far today. 14-7 in the game we just saw, the lowest scoring ever LCQ game. Here is Johnson. He's going to go. Touchdown for D. Croft. Mm, great stick work by D. Croft. It looked like that. I call it hero ball when your D lineman just makes a complete great shed and he stands you up like he's going to tackle you, then all of a sudden he just whiffs because he's just not fast enough to make a play. Chris Johnson literally just looked at him in the face and says, see ya. Well, and as we've been talking about Jay Wall having Michael Vick in the shoot and ready to go here. It's five minutes, three seconds of game time yeah, along. We haven't seen Michael Vick on the field yet. <laughs> and the return will not be much of one. Let's go back to that play and, and call it for me here, Skimbo. Yeah, you look, he got a shed right there with Rice and just he just wasn't fast enough or, or quick enough to be able to tackle Chris Johnson. That's why he's wondering, why didn't he make a play? It's because Chris Johnson's just too fast for you. Jay Wall's eyes bugged out like he was a cartoon character right there, it looked like. A 7-0 lead for D. Croft. Again, rolling with those Seahawks today. Yeah, so I'm going to touch on abilities. I'm excited to watch Jay Wall play offense this game after watching last game. When I saw their lineups a couple days ago, I said, why does he not have, you know, escape, escape artists on Vic? But it makes sense. If you're a pocket passer, you know what? Why would you have escape artists? And also, all he does is for his run, it's just that, he, he, okay, so back home, if you hit LT or L2 on your controller, you, you can take off faster. So he just goes straight up the middle, and that's how he uses his Vic and also these quarterback draws. Hot tip from a guy who's been there, done that, in 11 EA majors. Michael Skimbo joining us. Glad you're joining us, too, here at Pizza Hut Stadium, the last chance qualifier. This is the Xbox One bracket. We'll play some PS4 tomorrow on ESPN2. Ross, that's an interesting look to start out from Jay Wall. Yeah, I like it. I don't know how often he's going to go to the sweep, but I like it. He's running this nickel normal with the slot corner on the right side. So he ran a sweep away from where, it, you know, it's strong. And again, he's showing the same thing. I'm running away, and here we go. Here comes the chess match. Now he's flipping his formation on defense. I'm not giving it up, and now they're just going to flip, flip, flip. Here we go. Jay Wall audibles a ton, most of anyone in the field, matter of fact. And he's been putting points on the board of late. Not necessarily in that game he just played against Fancy. Got just enough to win. Mostert is hogtied. So it's going to bring up a third and short. <laughs> you don't think these guys played a lot of rep games being crews? Like, they knew exactly how to flip and when to flip and then when to shift their defense and when to disguise. 
but you got to look at these edge threats on the line. If you like big boy football, he has two edge threats on that D-line. Let's see how his offensive line holds up. Michael Vick with the 99 grade on him, a golden ticket, and he'll take off and he'll get it. And slide near midfield. 96 speed, all kind of abilities. That's a great card to have with Michael Vick. Yeah, so before he was using Eli Manning, and he would have got the first down right there, probably about three or four yards. But when you had Vick, those three or four yards goes to 10 to 15 to honestly, it could be house calls. 132 caps spent on that Vick card. And again, Ross. This time swerving forward right at that first down makes us twice he's gone with that play, Skimbo. Something we didn't see that whole game against Fancy. Um, it's just it's just a numbers game. You know, Fancy didn't run this nickel normal. It's just he sees the slot corner on that side, so he runs away from it. He's going against where the strong side is of the defense. Ross in the slot right now as Cribs in motion now from right. Tighter to the line. We're at 7-0, close to the two-minute warning here in the first half at Pizza Hut Stadium. D. Croft yeah, first can lose and still be in. okay. Yep. And the timeout taken here, the first from either side. Yeah. Are you surprised you know, that we're still at 7-0 here, Skimbo? I am, but, I mean, you know, they're just it's a fill-out drive. Like I said before, he was taking the underneath, and then same thing with J-Wall, except it's running underneath. Here's the run. There's Michael Vick galloping and getting that first down. A golden ticket, Michael Vick behind a beefed up O-line for Jay Wall. Yeah, great call. You saw it in the last game. You know, this Michael Vick's going to be problems. I don't like how he took a hit right there, you know, because quarterbacks can fumble in this game. So right there, if you know you're not getting any more yards, I, I feel like he should just go down. So a lot of five wide quarterback draw in that game against Fancy with the Red Sea parting often. And the guy who actually went to Moses Brown High School back in Providence had the Red Sea part for a win. That was uh, the winning play of the game late. So inside the two-minute warning, a 7-0 lead for Decroft. Ross Holt ready for it that time. Trying to run that sweep, but there was Denzel Ward. Yeah, he finally made a play. Instead of trying to flip the formation, he said, heck with it. I'm just clicking on my slot corner and putting him into the middle of the field so I can control him. We might get through an entire first half here, bud, with two drives, one from each side. <laughs> hey, you know, that doesn't happen a lot with uh, passers, but, you know, that's just how this game's going. Josh Cribbs tippy toes, and when Vic has put it in the air, he's perfect. Four for four for Jay Wall, young Jacob Wallach against the 19-year-old Daniel Mycroft. Yeah, so first big third down of the game. You know, um, Decroft had a couple third big third downs he converted. This is the first one for Jay Wall. In field goal range, don't want to take a sack here. Obviously don't want to turn it over. We saw a fancy advance with four takeaways, four picks in that opening game against Justin. Took two of them to the house. Yeah, I can't be doing that. So on the third and seven, Vic with protection. Slings, it is gonna be picked off by Lattimore. What a big player he's been for everybody in this tournament. And Lattimore will get belted near the 40 yard line. He has a pick for four different teams here today. <laughs> yeah, Lattimore's a straight dog. He's fast, cheap cap. But you got to talk about what Decroft did on defense. So that wasn't, at first, I thought it was an awful read by Jay Wall until Decroft shows that this click on game he has is super strong. He clicks on, cuts in front of the wide receiver, hits the wide button to pick the ball, and almost, if it wasn't for Vic, it could have been a house call. Now he's got time here, right? I mean, he's got a couple timeouts, 116 on the clock. He can fluff up this lead as Aaron Rodgers looks. Tucks and gets decked right near the 41. Yeah, I mean, if I'm Decroft, if I was in his shoes, I don't really care about scoring a touchdown. I want to go up two possessions right here because we know Jay Wall has the ball to start the half. Boy, Marshawn Lattimore, who's made big plays against Decroft's beloved Seattle Seahawks, makes a play for him here. And Rodgers again with some time. Zigzagging and taking a big loss. 
Yeah, he, he, he gave up with his quarterback there, so, you know, it would leave Jay Wall with little time and get his timeouts. But, you know, I really don't blame it. And, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he just ran the ball here. Third and 23. Knowing he's got the good protection, he'll go underneath. How much of 23 can they get? Not that much, as it turns out. Timeout taken. 30 seconds left here. Yeah, pretty much the same thing as a run right there. Take a check down, get a couple yards, give up so you don't take a hit, get a timeout taken. But you got to be careful if you're Wall here. You, this is where people lose the game getting greedy, knowing you're down. You get the ball at half, you know. I know you're down seven, but you do get the ball. Don't get too greedy here. Keeping it away from Cribs, we mentioned earlier, D. Croft never did forgive Ooh. himself last year, around this time of year, when he, when he gave it up on special teams. Yeah, awful punt, though. We're talking about special teams. He punted that to the 42. I, I was talking about Jay Wall might lose the game. I don't blame him for trying to get three points right here now. I mean, he only has to get about 30 yards. Okay, efforting to keep it away from Cribs, who's such a dangerous return man. It kind of shank a sorest that, that punt. Yeah. So here's Vic, who again can make things happen right quick. And 26 seconds on the clock for him. You've got a Hollywood Brown and Cribs. And of course, a little Tyree Kill out there wide to the left. So playmakers on the field. And a lot of time to survey and see exactly where his matchup might be. And motion Brown a little tighter to the line. And here is Michael Vick. Sails it to Hollywood Brown, but he's tripped up. Yeah, not a bad play. So the best thing that Jay Wall's done by trying to run the ball so much, he hasn't shown too many of his dots that maybe he's been saving. And if there's a time to bring out a play that you know that will give you a 15-yard gain and a spike to get a field goal, this is 100% the time to do it. Now, without timeouts, 20 seconds to go. So you do have to monitor the sidelines here. Underneath instead. And as the clock goes tick, tick, tick. The no huddle, the spike. Oh okay, you got time for one play. What do you do here, Skimbo? Well, if you don't have a field goal kicker, you throw a Hail Mary or do your QB draw. But if you have a field goal kicker, you have to try this because I would forgot where the wind's blowing or if there's even wind blowing in the stadium or arena. There's now, no indoors at Pizza Hut there's Stadium, no and Sam Ficken, who's got a pretty good leg. Going to need has six miles per hour wind behind him. Does he have enough? Oh, off the crossbar. How about that? Oh, it clanged as we hit triple zeros. Well, maybe that six mile an hour wind, you could take it to either five or seven. We had a would have had a more definitive effort. Yeah, I mean, I honestly thought he was going to make it thick and not awful kicking but not great and then you have a six mile power went behind your back I felt like he was gonna hit it all right so at halftime here at seven nothing Skimbo what, what are we looking at for J wall to rev up this offense and get on top um, I like what he did his first drive he was driving 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 and then he threw a pick in the red zone and that's where a lot of mad players lose game is you know everyone wants seven instead of threes but you can't throw picks and for D. Croft, I think you just keep doing what you're doing. You had a, you did great on your first drive, your second drive. Yeah, you got stopped, but you know, just keep giving them the underneath and then make an adjustment as the drive goes on. Oh, even though he's trailing, Jay Wall's defense is rock solid. I'm, I'm just checking my notes here. I'm looking at, let's see here. It's 37 points allowed in seven games. 27 of those to D. Croft. That's yeah, crazy. You know, when you get to this level. I mean, pretty much I feel everyone has great defense, but Jay Wall definitely has some of the best defense out of everyone. Now he goes on offense. He's got that 99 Michael Vick golden ticket. 96 speed, all kinds of abilities, ladles it out to Mostert, picking up five or six. Yeah, so I'm going to talk about um, D. Croft's abilities again. He has two edge threats. I, I don't see why. I mean, I know you need to blitz, but I thought he would honestly never blitz at all and just let those two guys on the end eat and run around with uh, Shazier. But when you're lurking on a safety, you're probably going to blitz everyone. This time on second and five. Now you've got Hollywood Brown for the first down. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like D. Croft's wasting cap. I mean... If I had a lurker ability, unless he knows something I don't know, I would be lurking on no one but Shazier because you spent a lot of cap on that ability. 
Is it possible that he fears that Michael Vick will just take off on him to just rev the engine and that's why he's not coming hot? Another underneath it route motion again. He's just chewing up fives and sixes here down the field. <laughs> there's, there's something I've known about Jay Wall since I lost him in New England. This is the first thing I said before I played him. He will take his underneath all game. He does not care. He will throw every underneath route in the book until you get greedy. This is a guy that not only beat my boy Skimbo, did it the day after his girlfriend broke up with him. How about that? His most gets level. I don't know if you knew that one, but we, we got some inside info that his, his 11th grade girlfriend said goodbye to him. Then 12 hours later, he's got to beat Skimbo, and he did. I just, I don't know what that has to do with anything right now. I mean, let's not talk about it anymore. I'm done talking about it. I'm done living that moment. Here comes a QB draw from Michael Vick. Get ready. Anything to take this man away from the memory of that game. Ooh, Vic squirming forward. And at least he got some positive yardage there. Yeah, he got lucky. He had a guy come in off the end free. He just, Michael Vick, being that golden ticket, just ran right by him. But he's going to have to get right back in his passing game. Looks like he has good QB draw defense. Michael Vick in the NFL. More than 6,100 rushing yards in his career. And here's that edge pressure, but yeah, Vic escapes and he loses the football. Oh, that's huge. I mean, it's, it's what I wanted everyone to just watch all day is will these edge threat guys get in? He should only send three to four and he should just let them eat. He didn't have a spot on the field. J Wall saw that, tried to take off, but they just got off their block so quick and they're so fast. You hit a quarterback on not a design run play, he's probably going to fumble, especially Vic. So is it possible that Decroft was playing possum a little bit, didn't show that kind of look until right when he wanted to pop the ball loose, or did it just finally flicker to, to light for him that, you know what, I got the cap on those guys, I might as well, as you say, let him eat? I mean, I think it just finally worked out. He's been trying to get him to eat all day. It's just finally they came to dinner after Mom called for him for a while. <laughs> Ringing that triangle out in the field. Say, come on. Mm -hmm. Let's get hungry here. And now, this is a huge drive. I mean, Decroft, we're late enough in the third quarter. This might be a put-away punch if he can milk enough clock and actually get a touchdown out of field goal. And again, all day nothing for Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, nothing else. Standing like a statue. And you called it, Skimbo. That, that coverage back there was just so solid, so he finally just had to sit down. Yeah, it was great. But right here, I might blitz a lot of people and just give them underneath the for force of fourth down because I know that was great coverage. But if you give someone that much time on a third and 15, it's eventually he might find a post or a corner route. Don't be surprised if he sends some pressure here. Mm. He's looking like he's dropping needing to again. Ah, shot. Yeah, and, and needing to get it just past the midfield stripe for the first down, we should point out. Rodgers will tuck it and run. And he'll slide just shy to bring up a fourth and makeable. So, all right, so what's your call here from around midfield? This, this is tough. I, I'd probably go for this. I know you've done great, but if you probably get a first down, you're in field goal range to go up two possessions. I, I don't know, man. I feel like if you get the first down here and you kick a field goal, I feel like the game's probably over. I really do. I know that's earlier to say, but you're up two possessions. You're probably going to the fourth quarter, and it looks like he's going to punt and trust his defense. I don't blame the call either. I, I feel like both have an argument i'm sure different opinions on everything but i would probably go for this wow it's going to be a trust your defense here and i'll take some time off the clock before trevor daniel will sock it away and yeah escapability of aaron Rodgers, right i mean to at least get it that close you mentioned it skimbo he had a skate artist on him is, is one of those abilities yeah, and that's why he got out of the pocket so quick. But, like, it's just like I remember a long time ago when I first started playing this guy named Warhawk. He's the one who kind of preached it to me, like, go for it on fourth and three. You get a first down, the game's over, right? You kick a field goal, you go up two possessions. But I also know a lot of people, they're like, punt the ball. He hasn't scored a point. Why would you even give him the ball at the 50-yard line? So, like I said, I've seen the argument on both, and let's see where this punt's at at the one-yard line. Okay, wow, that's that's incredible. That. You, you can't pin it coffin corner any better than that. So if there's going to be a, a go-to moment in this game, maybe, of all things, it might be a Trevor Daniel punt. <laughs> yeah, and Jay Wall has this smirk in the top right just looking at you. I wonder if he has something for this right here. Yeah, watch out, or it's 9 nothing here. 
Vic over the middle, and he's got John Ross. That's big to get him out from the shadow of that end zone. And here's Michael Vick with only one incompletion the entire game for Jaywalk. Yep, streak specialist on him, threw it in traffic. However, he had the ability, and he got it done. Wow, this thing, as we get to the fourth quarter, literally can go either way now. That was a big, big play to get out from that one-yard line. Getting ready for the fourth quarter now. It's going to be an opportunity for Decroft just to move on without a second game. Remember, he can lose and still be okay. Not the same for Jacob Wallach. Jay Wall has absolutely got to win this one. Otherwise, it's done and for him. He will not be one of those two backdoor bandits, as we're calling him. On to the fourth quarter, presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh, no, no, don't crush him. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this Creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and Creamy Snickers. Well, so far, Decroft, seven points, and it's enough. At least right now, Michael Skimbo. We start the fourth quarter, and I'm interested in your thoughts. Uh, Jay Wall's got to put a drive together and get it tied up, obviously. I mean, we just got to call it. Time's running out for him. You got to go get seven. It can't be three. And just put a drive together. Your first drive was fine. You drove all the way in, but you threw an interception in the red zone. Go back to what you did your first drive. Run some of those sweeps. Do some of that stuff again. Trying to join the field of 16 in Madden's most coveted title, the Madden Bowl. Over the middle, and there's Ross again. He breaks out, gets past midfield, move those chains, and again, here's Michael Vick at 11 out of 12. Yeah, I mean, his one interception, that's just why everyone wants to run the ball. You don't have a good run play, you don't gain yards. If sometimes you throw a bad pass, it's, it's an interception. But um, I'm just looking. These two edge threats on the outside, besides that one play, they really haven't done much. Well, Cribs can hit a home run if he can get free, but no, they can't get it to him. He, he was open for a little bit, but down goes Michael Vick. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I don't know anything. This is the ultimate bait. Like, hey, yeah, why would I rush? I have two S threats. But what happens when I do blitz? Because you're sending out everyone on a route. You know what I mean? So maybe it is a great time to blitz thinking he's probably going to be in coverage. No, when I send heat, what are you going to do? Yeah, it seems like Decroft has simply been very selective about when to use those monsters that he's got. And he's just brought up a second and 17. Here is Michael Vick surveying and scrambling. He's in trouble. He's got to fling it away. There's a flag down. Well, as you just said, there's one of those monsters, Peppers. But I, I feel like Peppers was blocked long enough to make a read. Just outstanding coverage. It was a bag. Nothing to do and couldn't get outside the pocket. Jay Wall's offense in airplane mode right here. It is third and 32, down seven. And Ross will play bumper cars and get nothing. So Decroft is in pole position right here. Yep, yep, get out your punter, punt it as fast as you can, save yourself some time. Don't care if it's a great punt, you better hurry up, get this meter going, and let's get back on defense because you need time to get the ball back. Two 19-year-olds going head-to-head, -head, both out of the TMC crew. They know each other so well. Rematch of the online final. The Decroft took 20-3. to So how about that? Two opportunities for Jay Wall here, Skimbo, against Decroft. He's come up with a grand total of three points in two games. I mean, that just speaks volumes to Decroft. Maybe he doesn't get enough credit. He even told me he feels he doesn't get enough credit on defense. He's grown up a lot in the last couple years, and he's a great all-around player. Just a quick reminder, the LCQ second day, that's on ESPN 2 tomorrow from 2 to 5 Eastern Time. So we hope you'll find us there. It's going to be Pavin, it's going to be Yardstick, and Golden Glover, who's turning a lot of heads. Not everybody knows who that is yet, but he'll have his million-dollar moment, so to speak. He'll be on national TV tomorrow. I'm surprised you didn't throw a jab and said no one knows who he is, but he beat me. <laughs> so I'm surprised you didn't go that low, Josh. But, uh, you know, here we go. The thing about being a passer, the thing about being a passer, it's hard to clock and end games. So he's going to have to keep throwing the ball right here. Well, that was a dot to Tyree Kill. Mm. And I'm, I'm, I'm done trying to pants you here on, on your one loss to Jay Wall. I, I swear, I, no more of that going forward. 
we're, we're talking Dequamp now all the way because he very possibly is going to lock this thing up in just a couple of minutes. And if he gets another first down, he could well be on his way to punching that ticket. Absolutely. And, I mean, I know he only has seven points, and but this game's been so slow. Like, they haven't had a lot of possessions. I'm just... I'm completely shocked that D, or, uh, Jay Wall just keeps running this coverage defense. I mean, at a time like this, you just got to blitz everyone and just have no zones over the top and get completely greedy. So you just saw the two-minute warning. Remember, three timeouts still in the pocket of Jay Wall. That may be a saving grace oh if we can God, make I'm a stop kidding. here. On, but out. Mostert, oh, ooh, got very close to that first down. And, and I've got to ask you here, Skimbo, since you're such a veteran of, this, of the proceedings, I know every chance you've got to go for a belt is big, but what makes Madden Bowl so special? Why is that one a number one? I mean, when you win, uh, this is just how it is with us, and I think this is how everyone feels for the most part. If you win the last tournament, you're considered the best player of the year because it's been all year. It's a grind, it's a grind, it's a grind. You win the last one. You get to be the champ going into the summer, into the next. I remember when I got to live that. I, I could rub it in until the next major. So that's why it's so big. You get to carry that belt, and there's not another tournament for a very long time. Mostert is stuff. That's a huge play. It's now going to be third down, and obviously Jay Wall desperately needs the ball back. He's got one timeout left. Third and two coming up. I don't believe, I do not believe he's in field goal range yet. I don't know his kicker. I haven't looked. You know, I'm just, I was too busy looking at their other abilities, completely whiffed on seeing how long, how strong their kicking game is. But if he doesn't get it, get it here, it's going to get real, real iffy. Oh, boy. Well, remember, we saw crossbar clanged from 58. So this right now, again, is 58. If Decroft wants to try to make it 10-0, he's already tried that once. It didn't work. It hit the crossbar. And this late in the game, boy, what a decision here. <laughs> you know, it goes back to this, right? You're playing great defense. Your punting game's been great. You get a first down, you end the game. Like, I, I understand what he's doing. My defense has played great. He has no timeouts in this Madden. There's a 20-second, 15-second runoff. It's hard to score late. But if he gets a first down, the game's over. He doesn't even have to play defense. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't blame it, though. It's amazing how the script is flipped. If you watch the game right before this one, Jay Wall was playing defense in this situation. Over the middle, Cribs hangs on. That's a great catch in traffic. Move those chains. He's out of timeouts. And that was the exact thing that Fancy had to deal with. It ended one touchdown short. Right, and, and smart spy, you know, give yourself time to set up. Jay Wall is not a guy who wants to quick snap you. He wants to take his time and do a bunch of hot routes. So that, that I don't blame him for the spike. Boy, in the first 18 and a half minutes, no point scored in this game. Now in the last minute and a half, he needs seven. And he's got number seven, Michael Vick. In trouble, down he goes. There's that edge rush you talked about earlier. One of the monsters is out of the cage. It's Julius Peppers. Yeah, and uh, the time's not on his side at all. He's going to have to quick snap, probably look for a streak or a post, something quick. Got Tyree Kill pushed out to the right. John Ross tight to the line on the left. Can Vic find anybody? Ball, Pocket ball, collapsing. Vic is down. It's Peppers ball, again. Ball, ball comes loose as well. Ball, and King picks it up. Decroft moving on. <sighs> that, that's just huge. I mean, he spent all his cap. I've talked about it from the beginning. He spent all his cap on them as threats. And when it was time for them to earn their check, boy, did they ever earn their check. Wouldn't you like to be a Peppers, too, right about now? That's the guy that seals the deal. Defense carries it for Decroft in the grand final. And we can call it right now. It's DOA for the rest of the crew. Everybody today knew one another so well. Only one of the four could move on. It will not be 